Hello everyone, I am Dr. Hansa Kinkini Devroy and I am one of the faculties of the Behavioral Economics program at the James Lind Institute, Switzerland. Uh, today I will be talking to you on the topic of rational behavior and behavioral economics. So by rationality we mean the quality or the ability of making decisions based on clear thought and reason. Behavioral economics uh, incorporates insights from human psychology into models of economic behavior. Now this discipline is concerned with systematic departures from rational choice because in reality people exhibit a number of departures from the rational agent model of decision making. Now let us understand how is it done. So behavioral economists attempt to identify systematic biases. Departures from rational choice can inform the development of more general descriptive models of economic behavior. Moreover, models can be used to develop testable hypothesis and predict economic behavior. Now, in this context, uh, I would like to state what hypothesis is. Hypothesis is a testable statement which could be proved or disproved. Now going to the next slide. So let us here understand the differences between humans and icons. Like humans are imperfect, emotional and full of bias. While icons on the other hand are perfect, calculated and objective. Um, whereas Icons usually refer to economics or social science that analyzes the production, distribution and consumption of goods and services. When human beings fail to act the way economic models predict, now some, there are some systematic departures from rational choice which are the, there are different biases actually. So coming to the first bias which is called generosity and selflessness. Uh, so economic model of rational choice assumes that rational self-interest many many people often engage in acts of generosity and exhibit altruism that is the act of doing good to others. So these acts motivated are motivated primarily by a concern uh, towards the welfare of others and donation of charity which are the most obvious um, examples. Again coming to the second bias which is paying attention to sunk costs which means that rational decision makers think at the margin and only consider opportunity costs but in reality people are influenced by sunk costs in decision making. The sunk cost fallacy occurs when we are unable to cut our losses due to our past experience or money or the time we have spent in the activity. For example, it could be remaining in a job that is not satisfying because of all the months of training um, that you might have got or you have to undergo. Coming to the third bias which is overconfidence uh, where individuals believe that skill level and judgment are better than they truly are like their skill level. Numerous studies have shown that humans tend to overestimate positive attributes about themselves um, which is um, like obviously indicative of overconfidence again. Coming to the fourth bias which is self-control pro uh, problems and hyperbolic discounting. Uh, which is important bias in behavioral economics where people have a strong preference for now like at the moment. Tendency of people to uh, place much importance on the immediate present than the near future and making economic decisions. So this is about the hyperbolic discounting. Also there is another kind of um, disc, um, bias which is falling prey to framing um, which is a judgmental heuristic where individuals uh, react differently and systematically in different ways depending on how the problem is presented. Now uh, in this context let us understand uh, 
the primary question does behavioral economics mean that everything we have learned is useless uh, well no the answer is where the rational choice model is not always perfect although uh, it is not always perfect it does an excellent job of predicting behavior in many circumstances this model can actually be generalized or otherwise be extended to account for behavioral anomalies um, that is behavioral abnormalities that human beings tend to show uh, in different situations again this model provides a basis for thinking about seemingly irrational behavior often illuminating uh, rational motivations for example like conspicuous charitable don donations that improve reputation again this theory uh, provides clear and systematic view uh, or way of analyzing the motivations and decisions of individuals um, therefore rational decision making model reduces the chance of errors and assumptions it helps to minimize the managers emotions which might have resulted in poor judgments in the past thank you very much